Like any other day, Mondel Pacello came home and listened to her answering machine. It just caught me totally off guard. I wasn't expecting it. We have been trying to reach you. However, this past Thursday, this call is officially a final notice. She heard a message. Internal Revenue Services. Which threatened her family with a lawsuit. The reason of this call is to inform you. I was completely shocked. Initially thinking the message was from the IRS, Pacello called back. The caller demanded more than $2,000 and threatened her with police if she didn't pay in 45 minutes. It was scary because I actually had myself going to the window. Are the cops going to come get me? I'm home with my two-year-old, you know. What do I do? Pacello provided personal information initially because the family does owe more than $100 in backstate taxes. They're threatening, they're, they're, they're intimidating, and they can catch you off guard if you're not prepared for that. But once such a large amount was demanded, she immediately had the frightening headache of contacting her bank and credit cards to help secure her identity. She admits it was a mistake to give out her personal information. Just don't react. Calm down. Think about it. Make sure that you know who you're talking to. The IRS says calls like these are fake because it will never threaten to bring in police, ask for credit card numbers over the phone, and it will only call after a letter has been sent first. When the Pacello family called back after getting that message, they got a human being on the other end. However, when I tried calling to see who they are, where they are, or anything else about them, they weren't there to answer those questions. We're sorry, all circuits are busy now. For now, reporting from Camden, I'm Alex Frisilla.